In 2011, Steps made one of the most astonishing reunions in pop history, which led to a number one album and one of the fastest selling arena tours of the year. I don't think many people get this chance twice. There's a hell of a lot to do, so yeah, we've got a mountain to climb yet. But when the tour starts, will they be able to keep their demons under control? I can't do it because I'm just going to get upset. I'm going back to a situation where the last time I was in it, mm. I was miserable. Not... So how's that different now? Claire knows that she would be letting the side down if she didn't come to the party and do the work. I think if somebody wants to damage that, you know, it's on their head at the end of the day. The whole world looks at it this time. I just don't know why they won't leave me alone. With only ten weeks to prepare for their most important tour ever. I'm still confused. Millions of pounds at stake. And 150,000 fans who can't be disappointed. Will they make it? Or will the band fall apart once more? It's probably more northern east to me. I feel so sad <sighs> for everybody who's put their energy and time into us. If we can't, we leave it now. This is Steps on the Road Again. are back and a new chapter in the story of their success is underway. While the band are reveling in their reunion and refound fame, their ultimate arena tour is on the horizon. Steps are pulling out all the stops to thrill their loyal fan base with 20 sellout concerts across the UK. I'm so glad you're back. Oh, thank you. Ten years on, they'll have to compete with the next generation of pop megastars. Have they got what it takes to up the ante and pull off a standout tour for 2012? We were known for doing our amazing shows, so we all want to step it up again and, and do the best show that we can do. Having a number one album and all that, it's great, but it's always been our baby, the tour. It's always been what we are good at and what we've always been passionate for. What we did back then, I want to recreate, you know, and then some. I want to come back with such a big bang. Since the band split, their lives have changed dramatically. How will they cope being back in the pop world and on tour once more? It's a big thing to come back, and everyone is making massive sacrifices to do this. Lisa now lives in Dubai and wants to spend as much time as possible with her family before joining up with the rest of the group. So preparations are starting without her. The decision's got to be made, and she can't see them. I would rather that because the whole thing is moving forward, as you know. She will have to trust us to some She's going to have to. We all signed up for this, so I think it's essential that all five of us are here to make decisions and make this all happen. It's really unfortunate that Lisa's not here at the moment, um, and I think we're all a bit frustrated about that. With problems already beginning to surface, can steps pull together for the next few months, or will the cracks appear as they did ten years ago? Are you worried that it could end badly again? The last time I was in this situation, I left it. Mm. I was miserable. From my point of view, I don't see it as being that different. Lisa's family have only recently settled into their new home. Having to leave them to head back to the UK is incredibly difficult for her. So many parents out there that have to make sacrifices and, and there's lots of working mums and working dads and, and it's really challenging. You get a lot of guilt as well. I feel enormously guilty. Just come out again. Can I just have a minute?
With rehearsals due to start in the next couple of days, Lisa can't put off leaving her family any longer. I have to weigh up my professional commitments, but this time round, I, I am a mother, I am a wife. You know, I'm, I'm not just Lisa from Steps. We had our life here before. We knew that the tour was going to happen. Um, didn't think really, didn't know that Steps was going to take off like it did. So we've been, we've based ourselves out here. So it does, it does make it a bit difficult at times. In just a matter of weeks, the band will be dancing and singing live on stage in Belfast. And this is where the hard work really begins. To help them focus on the tough weeks ahead, manager Stephen Howard has set up Steps HQ at a secluded rehearsal space deep in the English countryside. I think a uh, robotic vomp as it's straight the legs. Nice. Yeah, and we go five, six, seven, eight, one. And with Lisa now back from Dubai, the band are back together and rehearsals can start properly. The only way this tour is going to work and be successful is if we all just buckle down, we've got to commit the time now to steps, we've got to make it possible. You can see a massive difference when the five of us together to when somebody's missing. I think Lisa is still um, playing catch up and I don't think she feels completely comfortable with some of the things that we've already decided or have to make decisions on already. She kind of wants to be in the loop but it's kind of too late, do you know what I mean? There were a couple of things that I, I missed out on and, and, I, and I chose to because I have to put my family first so it does feel like the first day of school because I'm getting to know all the dancers as well uh, and the five of us are, have come back together after having a couple of months off really. Let's just talk it through the chorus before we start. Five, six, seven. I'm just a holy fool but baby it's so cruel I'm still in love with you this baby Cool. Tour director Gareth knows he's got a massive job to get the band in shape. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. They have not done this in 10 years. They were at the height of fame on a massive arena tour. They've not done it since. What I'm asking of them is a hell of a lot as well. It's not simple, it's not basic, and they probably would have struggled even back 10 years ago. Let's just try it, mark it once with music, please. Whilst the band have been thrown into some fast-paced routines, Claire is finding it difficult. The dancing thing for me is quite a big issue because it's just been such a long time since I've done it. And I was never a huge fan of the dancing side of it anyway. Take a moment, dancers, your version, please. Well done, guys, that was Ooh. brilliant. It was all about singing. That was it for me. I never trained as a dancer. Claire just wants to stand there and sing. You know, Claire's a vocalist, but she can't do that because she's in steps. <laughs> and steps have dance to steps. Okay, the rest of you just got that five minute break. <laughs> But it's not just the dancing on stage that's an issue. Claire's fitness and weight are having an impact. Claire, you know, she's a different shape and a size, you know, now to what she was. To get up on there being a bigger size, for one, is quite a big thing for me because there's not many people in my position that would do that. I think Claire knows that she would be letting the side down if she didn't come to the party and do the work. Oh, maybe try this, just try the half steps for now. It's not half. I know, but if you loosen up your half a little bit. Claire uh, has had a bit of a shock to her system. She needs to get fit, definitely. It's full on, and it, it does worry me whether I would be able to do a two hour show. And I had a little bit of a moment where I just thought, I'm not going to be able to do this. Coming up, as the tour train steams ahead, it's too much for Lisa. I can't do it because I'm just going to get upset. 
and faced with a probing interview, the band aren't happy to be back on the publicity treadmill. Right, okay, one thing I have to touch upon. The infamous letter. How come we've never seen the contents of that letter? As the pressure mounts, will it all come crashing down? Can we make this work? At the moment, it's probably more no than yes for me, I'd say. Steps are back. Ten years after a dramatic split, preparations are underway for an epic UK tour. I know that we all want this tour. I know that we're all desperate to get out there and have another go. In less than a month, they'll be back on stage, but have Steps got what it takes to be a touring band again? It's full on, and it, it does worry me. <laughs> Claire uh, has had a bit of a shock to her system. She needs to get fit, definitely. Rigorous training has only just begun, and there's a huge journey ahead. It's like, shit, we're doing it. You know, this is it, this is real. This is what we all hoped would happen, and it has, and, you know, now it's nearly here. It's... It's, it's big shit. <laughs> After just a week in the rehearsal room, Steps are forced to abandon their preparations at a crucial point and hit the publicity treadmill. So your tour kicks off in April. Belfast, yeah. we're kicking off the tour. Very exciting. We've been working very, very hard, dancing our little yeah. socks off, but it's going to be awesome. We have a bacon sandwich yeah. now, I'm starving. Yeah. <laughs> the early start doesn't mean it's over, as there's always more to do. Steps World has always managed. And, and it's back to Steps World this week is very much what it was like back then. And you are torn left, right and centre. And everybody struggling a little bit this week is quite tough. We're barely rehearsing at all, so I don't think we quite realised how little we were going to be actually going through the show and stuff this week. It's all just getting a bit too much. But before they can get back to work, they have to fit in a glossy gossip magazine photo shoot. Back in the 90s, Steps embraced their fun-loving image and threw themselves into any opportunities for publicity. to the Queen's Royal Regiment at your service! But ten years on, they may have grown up, but their public persona hasn't. The magazine want the band made up as if they've been partying hard all night. It's just when people think of wonderful ideas to set up the story photo. Yeah, getting too old for that. Enough said. You know, if you were doing the lippy and yeah, it was it, all over your face, like gone like that. <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's great. Perfect. That's great. It's not yes. all fucking glam and all. It's not, it definitely isn't. <laughs> but people say photo shoots. Oh, you're so lucky. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm just all over. Luckily, you, you would know. Go on. Did you do that? So just keep one. That's good. That's great, Faye. Just lift it right up so as if he's shoving it into your mouth. That's it. It's hard doing days like that where you know that it's good promotion, it's good publicity, you, you know all the, the pluses, but it doesn't make it any easier doing it. Their energies and enthusiasm drained by the uncomfortable photo shoot. It's straight into some questioning from the magazine's journalist. You were kind of in, in the pop world and you must have had lots of like celeb mates and you must have snogged a fair few celebrities. <laughs> Can you tell us about that? I was virtually married yeah. before I started, so nothing to tell. The fact that everyone wants a piece of you or thinks that they're allowed to have a piece of you is slightly daunting. We I mean, Lisa, obviously, again, we touched on you kind of living in Dubai. Why Dubai? Like, why, um, not? why not? Yeah. A lot of really rich people live in Dubai. Or would you say you're really rich? How rude. Um, right, OK, one thing I have to touch upon. The infamous letter. How come we've never seen the contents of that letter? It's just really private between all of us. Do you regret what happened the way it did? Yeah. Nowadays, would you do text message or a DM? Or no, we're not going to think about text. how we do it these days. No, because we've just got back together. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would do things differently. That's life. You grow up and you move on. You know, you get days like that and you think, oh, maybe I'll just do the tour, finish on a high, because I don't enjoy that side of it. 
you know, I don't, I don't feel that I kind of really want to be doing that anymore. After only a week of rehearsals and back at the mercy of the press, the tour roller coaster is racing ahead. Steps are at a London TV studio to shoot the content that will go on the big screen for their show. They're embracing new technology that wasn't available 10 years ago. You know, we're doing things that had never been done before. So, you know, we are setting, dare I say, you know, the bar quite high. We've got the biggest screen that this country has ever had behind us. It's never been done before. It's going to work every night? Bloody hope so. It's going to be a rush day of filming with lots of makeup and costume changes for the band and dancers. Up until now, with the, with the tour, all they've been doing is meeting, talking, planning, discussing, budgeting, and then rehearsing. So now it, it sort of comes out in the open. So for them, it's a little bit of a learning and discovery thing, but at the same time, it's another very important day. This first look is we've been cryogenically frozen in time, clearly. This is what you would look like if you've been cryogenically frozen for 10 years. Although Claire's not convinced by the look, she's needed down in the studio for her first shots. One, two, three, four, I want you to wake up soon. Like... Oh, no. That's it. To do it with me now, practice, here we go. Oh, Pleasure eyes. Acting. Pleasure eyes, <laughs> ready? <laughs> so, one, two, three, four. <gasps> yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> And four, three, two, one. We've got it. Great. One down and no time to lose. Straight into a quick change and onto the next look and a completely different style. Oh, ten years on, he's still got it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> While the boys are having fun, Claire's under pressure to get through things quickly. And just like at rehearsals, she's struggling to keep up. Yeah, I think it needs a whoom, like, lift up. I can't, though. But not so much with the movement, more just even if you're just, you know, kind of just, it's those clipped bits and, like, even the chorus, even if it's small, it's keeping it, the energy up all the way through so it feels lifted. OK, ready, H.E.? OK, let's go, kids. Let's go, kids. The huge challenge of being a touring group again is a battle for all of them. But Claire gets a surprise visit that gives her a boost. <gasps> Mummy looks different. She looks, <laughs> she looks like one of my biker buddies that I go out on the Harley with every Sunday. <laughs> I'm still frightened. Well, what do you think? What do I look like? Down. What do you think I look like? I can't think of anything, can you? While Claire's children are able to surprise her and give her a lift, it's too much for Lisa. Hers are over three and a half thousand miles away. So Claire, you've probably got about ten minutes, okay? So if you want to go and rest for a bit. And guys, why we do these solo shots? We don't need to be in here. Don't be in here. Thank you. Obviously, it's lovely for Claire to have a family there, but it's just hard because my family aren't here, obviously. And I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting to see them. So, um, yeah, just it's hard when you're away from your family. I've got a lot of respect for the girls for what they're doing at the moment. Lisa more than most of them because she leaves her family behind, you know, and, and I know she said to me she does feel very guilty about it. You know, the girls may struggle, but at least they get to see them and they go back to them at the end of the day. And Lisa doesn't get that. Eyes closed and now open them. <laughs> With personal struggles overshadowing the enormity of what lies ahead and only four weeks to go, will they be ready in time? Kind of a mixture of emotions, really, for, for me at the moment. So I'm kind of, I'm up and down and it's hard <laughs> to kind of latch on to reality. <laughs> so I'm very much back on the steps treadmill. It's a mammoth task, and um, if today's anything to go by, I don't know if I'm a bit too old for this now. I just want to go home to bed and watch EastEnders. <laughs> ah! 
coming up. The band face thousands of fans at a warm-up gig, but seem oblivious to the problems on stage. And with the pressures of being reunited taking their toll, the future of Steps is already under threat. I think I probably do have trust issues still from, from the past. And my family have to come first. But you know what? I've, really I've actually stopped having a family because of Steps. I'm not quite sure how we're going to make it work. Steps are back in the limelight, and ten years on, they're attempting the ultimate arena show. Have they got what it takes to compete with the pop stars of 2012? Of course we're all worried. We don't want to tarnish the name of Steps. We don't want to come out with something that actually isn't very good. Some of the band are struggling with their own personal battles. Dancing, for me, is a big issue. I'm not going to be able to do this. And the demands of an intensive rehearsal schedule are putting them under pressure. I won't lie, it's the last week has been testing. It's so physically draining. You know, uh, your body can only take so much, as well as filming and having meetings and making big decisions. So it's, it's taking its toll on me, I, I won't lie. With the first concert only weeks away, Stephen has decided the band need a warm-up gig to focus them on the 20 sell-out performances they're about to face. A show at one of London's biggest clubs. This will be their most difficult challenge yet. On Saturday night, it's been a request from GAY that you do. It's the way you make me feel. And I know we plan to do one of your new numbers, which is Dancing Queen, but... One of them. Yeah, one of your new numbers, yes. Yeah. I'm a little bit concerned that we won't actually block a great routine together for Saturday night, so I think the safety, could you, would you do, it's the way you make me feel. I don't know how you feel about it. Yeah, it would be more solid for us now as well, wouldn't it? It's a shame not to give them something new, but maybe we could keep it as an exclusive for the two of them, maybe? You see? Yeah. Can we get on and do that and block it? OK, cool, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way you make me feel, the way that you make me feel. Spinning my world around. Tell me. Tomorrow night, their most loyal fan base will see them perform on stage at GAY. I'm just trying to get everything in my head so I know it inside out. But um, if in doubt, I'm just going to thumb it out. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'll just walk forward and sing. <laughs> Singing live while performing isn't easy. Yet another daunting challenge for the group. Back then, we used to mime. So <laughs> now I'm having to learn the words because actually a sound has to come out of my mouth. So, <laughs> so <laughs> having to coordinate my you know vocals with my dance moves, you know that's something we never did, and I don't mind saying that. We want to do a lot live, you know, it's really important for us. There were times where we mimed in the past, but it's not as if we can't, we're not capable of doing it live as a band. I think we've got a really, really great sound. If the band are going to prove their critics wrong, it's vital that this live performance goes well. So Stephen has called in an expert coach to make sure that their vocals are up to scratch. This puts you in touch with all those muscles that we need to work with. Yes. That's... One, two, three, go. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, hold. Breath out, 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 and again. Breathe in, yes. Sit back on those heels, working well. Use that, hold. And rest. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. on, coming out the top. <laughs> I want you to just have a little play around with vocals as a group. It's too fucking early for this. If you do a number and see how you feel. Cause I couldn't live if we're apart 
Well, we're standing still, though, aren't we? But they won't be standing still. Dancing while attempting to sing live is a big leap from what they used to do. It's the summer of love. It's the night of their live warm-up gig. And as expectations for their performance mount, hordes of fans queue round the block to get into the venue. We're about literally five minutes from opening and um, you can see now, looking at both sides, there's now an absolutely huge queue. These are the hardcore Steps fans who have been waiting ten years for tonight. We want Steps! We want Steps! Literally the whole week we've been in my bedroom, we've watched all the Steps videos, to get all, the all the Top of the Pops yeah. videos as well, because you can see the dance routines better on the Top of the Pops videos. So, yeah, we think, we think we've got it, got it, got it good. Outside of the club, it's it's rammed. I, I think they had to turn away about 400 people, so it's it's totally sold out. And I think the uh, atmosphere is going to be fantastic. But backstage, as the band arrive, the tension is starting to build. It's their first and only chance to perform to a live crowd before the tour. have been in kind of a tour bubble. They haven't performed like this in te over 10 years, so it's a huge step, pardon the pun, in the right direction. I'm a bit nervous because I think there's a lot of pressure on us. It's our first live performance. Ah. It's a really big deal for us. The atmosphere is electric as the fans eagerly await their arrival. The moment has come for Steps to perform live. She's quiet a second. Ten years ago when they split, I was devastated. So. If you're ready, it's time for the reunion to begin. Please welcome, after 10 years, it's their very, very first show. It is Steps! As the gig gets underway, there seems to be some sound problems on stage as they can't hear each other. show so the band have to carry on and finish with one of their classic hits about the issues on stage.
but for Claire, it didn't go well. In there, as soon as I started singing, I just couldn't hear a thing. So, I don't know what it sounded like. It was probably awful. Yeah, that wasn't the best for me. But the rest of the band seem oblivious and have been swept along by the overwhelming response of the fans. It's just been my heart's pumping. Amazing. Woo! Hello. Excited, hey? That was amazing. Yeah, I think I need a drink. I think I, I, think I need to get hammered. You just feel really humble because you just think there's so much love out there for Step still. But with the first arena concert only two weeks away, it's clear there's a huge amount of work still to do. Coming up, the band takes some time out from rehearsals for a fun day out at the races. Number six, one. <laughs> but the mood changes and tensions rise at a difficult meeting. Being in a band like this, this is nothing. What we're doing now, really, is nothing. At the same time, I've got two kids. I've had to be a working mother. I've had to be a working mother. I've had no choice. And before the tour has even begun, is the future of Steps already under threat? Can we make this work? At the moment, it's probably more no than yes for me, I'd say. Following their hugely successful reunion and a number one selling Ultimate Hits album, Steps are preparing for the most important moment of their careers. A 20-day tour all across the UK and Ireland, playing to sold-out arenas and 150,000 fans. But their first live warm-up gig didn't go well. In there, as soon as I started singing, I just couldn't hear a thing. So... I don't know what it sounded like, it was probably awful. Their personal battles were overshadowing a gruelling rehearsal schedule. I can't do it because I'm just going to go upset. I'm not breaking my neck. As long as I can do it, then it's all good. The pressure of being back in the band is getting to all of them. I come into work thinking, fuck. At the moment, it still doesn't seem quite real. I just, I'm trying to get my head down and get on with it. We'd all agree that our lives have been literally just flipped upside down again, and we're back on the roller coaster ride. Steps have been overwhelmed by the realities of the tour preparations and exhausted by the pressures of being back in the group. So they've decided to give themselves some time out with a day at the races. It may have been 10 years ago, but with Steps a part of pop history, the group always generate excitement when they're out and about. With the first race about to start, the band head to the stand. Six, one. I didn't let you win, but I feel like I've been robbed now. Congratulations! Oh my god, how exciting! A lucky win in the first race gives them a taste for more and having spotted a horse they feel a connection to, they're hoping Pearly Steps will be their champion. I don't want to put a downer on it, but Pearly Steps is still running. <laughs> He's just coming in now. It may have been all smiles when they're on a winning streak. But as their luck runs out, the band take a moment to contemplate their reunion. 
There have been a lot of things that we've resolved within the last few months to move forward as a group, but it hasn't been fully discussed about what's going to happen next. Yes, it's nice to come back. It's great to make friends again. It's good to do a nostalgia tour. But I think we've got an amazing opportunity that anyone would jump at. You know, you'd be stupid not to do it. For me personally, why are we here if we don't want to go forward? I don't really see the point. I really, really have doubts, if I'm honest. I'm very worried about how it's going to affect my kids and my husband. I don't ever want steps to come between me and him because it, it that has happened before with me and Reese and it's only going to get worse from here in the amount of time that we have to commit to being in steps. I just really feel like the group steps are at a crossroads and we don't quite know which path to take. It's difficult because me and my family live in Dubai and to give all that up it really is a big ask unless you know for sure that your four of the bandmates are all on board. Years ago, I made the decision in my head to move away from London. You know, I wanted to get off the treadmill. And this has all happened and turned my world upside down. This is not part of my world anymore, yet it's been thrust upon me. That's what I'm finding hard to deal with. Um, I'm Having spent the day together away from rehearsals, and with the tour due to start in less than two weeks, it's the first time they've had a chance to sit down together. You know what? It was tweeted today, nine days. Oh, I get excited about that, but at the same time, my body's going, oh, my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't quite think I can cope. We've never actually worked this hard on a tour before. Oh. I think it's the children as well, though. Yeah. It's been working mums, and I know you boys are working hard as well, but it just adds another element when you've, you've got the children. For the five members of the group, it's been a challenging period and they've all had their own demons to deal with. It's weird because at the beginning of this I was really worried about being able to pick up everything because I did struggle a little bit last time. But I'm quite surprised that I've completely concentrated on picking up everything and, and I think I've kept up. I, can't, I know everything pretty much now. There's a few things I keep blanking on. And yeah. then, but I'm, I'm expecting everyone just to be going... Nah, she can't do it, she can't keep up. I thought you would struggle a little bit. I did. I was uh, expecting you, though, to throw a bit of a wobbly. I was. I, was. I mean, there have been a few things where you have put your foot down and go, oh, no, I can't do that, I can't do that. The hardest thing for me this time has been because I live a little bit further out, so I'm probably getting up the earliest and getting home the latest, and it's been, it's been really hard. And I feel so old and I feel so tired. I don't think we realise, you know, how big this really is now and how, you know, mahoosive going back on tour is. I do feel like we're playing catch-up to everybody who's in the industry these days because the industry is a completely different world now. Yeah. It's like it... Uh... I think with us, we, we didn't come back with a new album, we didn't come back at all, we didn't come back as a band saying we want this to work again. We came back going, what do we want? What should we do? Well, we didn't know what get, we wanted. Let's just try and get friends again. Let's just yeah. see what happens. And it's, great, it's happened on its own, hasn't lovely. it? The great yeah. thing is we have sorted out a lot of stuff between us which needed doing because yeah. we'd never done it. Yeah. But it worries me that this is all so successful because it's nostalgic. Mm. And mm. where... Where do we go from here? Mm. We can't do the same question. that we did yeah, ten we years can. ago. We just can't. I also do have concerns about moving on beyond the tour, and none of us have actually discussed what's going to happen. I think, you know, it is time that we do face facts and actually try and discuss where do we go from here. I just think if any band is ever going to get back together and reform, they couldn't do it in a better way or have a bigger opportunity than what we have now with the success that we have recreated. I know the minute I get on that stage, I'm going to absolutely love it and be in my element. But, but what? At the same time, I've got two kids and 
I, being in a band like this, this is nothing. What we're doing now, really, is nothing to a band that has to promote and that has to be out there promoting a new album, recording a new album. I, I don't know how quite... How to you, like, can, how you how can be... To, how to do it. mother and... Because okay. yeah. I want to be a mother. Yeah. Like, my, my, I, I want this me. as well. My thing is, I've had to be a working mother. I've had to be a working mother. I've had no choice. And so I've had to find a way to do it. Lisa's had to find a way to do it. You feel, but, and do you know what? This is the first step of you learning how it is to be a mum and have to be a working mum. And what worries me is we've got such a massive opportunity and everything that we've done to get to this point is so amazing. Yeah, what happens from here? I mean, Lisa, you've had to actually physically be away from your children because they're in a completely different country. Yeah, it's, it's been really tough because I feel like I've got one life in Dubai um, and the children are in a, a fabulous nursery and, they're, you know, they're, they really love it. Sorry. It's very, very scary to think that I would have to give that all up for the future of steps. And also, I, I think I probably do have trust issues still from, from the past because I don't know how everybody feels. And so that, that's really difficult. And my family have to come first, as all your families do. But and do you know what? I've, really I've actually stopped having a family because of steps. I know, it's done. You I'm know, done. it's a really Children. tough thing to be in steps right now. Yeah, it is. And I was really afraid of this happening. Can we make this work? And if we can, we go for it and we take a risk and whatever happens, happens. At the moment, it's probably no, more no than yes for me, I'd say. Do you know what? I feel so sad for everybody who's put their energy and their money and time into us. If we can't, we leave it now. I just want us to enjoy this tour more than anything. That's it. Well, let's enjoy it then. Next time on Steps, the band's worst fear is realised. I've got bronchitis. Probably the biggest crisis we've had here. This, this was the last thing we needed. <coughs> and their nerves are stretched at final production rehearsals. It's not coming together as quickly as it should. I don't feel like we're going to be ready in time. And finally, after 10 years of waiting, Steps return to the stage. Oh